Hello and welcome to the Cider House Galleries. In the first of the series of videos we want to do that explains a little bit more about the art business. Today's video is what constitutes a masterpiece. That's a word that's used so often, probably very much overused, but very much an artistic term, meaning a great painting, a great work of sculpture, etc. And so what we have here next to me is a masterpiece. Admittedly, he's very young when he creates this, but this is by Sir Edwin Landseer, the great Royal Academician and animal painter. Uh, he was extremely important in Britain in the 19th century, um, the top of the tree for, for painting of animals. Uh, Landseer is born uh, about 1802 or 1803. The books differ on exactly uh, which year he was born. So this particular picture, which was exhibited in the Royal Academy in 1819, he was 16 or 17 years old. And an extraordinarily um, sophisticated and uh, composed work for someone of that age. He was a real trial prodigy. Um, he, from the age of five, used to disappear off uh, for hours, a whole day, with uh, just some sketchbooks and crayons and painting the uh, animals that he came across uh, in the area. During the uh, 19th century, the, the early part of the 19th century, he becomes immensely popular, both in print form and uh, his, his original oil paintings. Uh, he becomes a great favourite of uh, Queen Victoria's, uh, the royal family commissioned many works by Landseer of their own pets, etc. And he did many famous commissions, many famous pictures, and uh, perhaps one of the most famous that many people will recognise. I have here Mr. Richard Allman's uh, book on Sir Edwin Landseer, and uh, this particular picture here, uh, the Monarch of the Glen, is perhaps one of his best known images uh, but there are many more that you would probably recognize if you saw them so he is very influential in art uh, as uh, in, in the 19th century he becomes very besotted with scotland and the landscape and the animals um, he becomes friends with sir walter scott the great romantic um, uh, writer of the period and uh, Generally, he is regarded as uh, one of the greatest painters of that whole era. So this particular work, we look at it, and at this stage, he is influenced by another artist, James Ward. And we're just going to put on the screen a comparable picture by James Ward so that you can see the similarity. He's not copying James Ward. He's taking some of James Ward's style. And you'll see particularly around the brushwork and this sort of fluffiness of the hair of the dog, um, and this lovely sort of playful aspect of the pebble sitting here that the dog's probably just dropped and wants somebody to throw. So this is a Blenheim Spaniel, a, a rare breed, but he painted many other uh, um, very famous animals and uh, breeds of animal throughout his life. And a picture like this, although he's a young man, um, he's very developed in his style. Uh, he, later on, his style becomes smoother. Uh, it's it, this sort of wonderfully um, fast brushwork here. You see much less of that, and it's much more um, detailed and finished. And this is a masterpiece. I don't think anyone could really dispute it. Mm -hmm.